Hi my loves, thanks for returning. I hope this video finds you happy and doing well. As you know by the thumbnail, this video is going to be another get ready with me doing a glowy look with a pop of color that's on the eyes. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. So today I just wanted to do a really pretty on trend glowy look. Although this is a trend that I'm hoping will never go out of style. I feel like any age can rock it, 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s. Um, even if you're in your 50s like me, you can rock this look. All of the products and tips and tricks that I talk about in this video are things that I like to use and do when trying to achieve the glowiest look possible. So with all of that said, if you're still interested, let's get into this look. All right, so let's get this party started. With any makeup, you wanna make sure that you have your skincare on point, no matter you know if you're doing a full coverage, a natural, or even no makeup. Today, for this glowy type of look I'm gonna use this Elemis Revive mask and you can use this three times a week and you can sleep with it on of course or you can use it under your eye makeup so I'll be using it under my eye makeup and you'll actually see how good it looks so this is it and I'm just going to apply a thin layer of it under my eyes and as you can see, it doesn't leave you with like a greasy look or anything like that. And it actually feels really good on the skin. I'm going to go in with my moisturizer and I'm going to use my Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream. Y'all have seen me use this like so many times on my channel. And by the way, both of these products come with like a little time to just kind of protect the cream. And this cream is really thick as well. Well... Not really thick, but it's thick enough. And if you're going for a glowy look, especially if you have dry skin, you probably want to go with a thicker cream that will absorb really fast into the skin. You don't want a cream that's just kind of going to sit on top of the skin. And you just want to make sure you have that massaged in really well. Now I'm going to add another moisturizer and this kind of acts as a moisturizer, a primer, but I really like how um, this makes the skin look when you're standing out in the sun. It really reflects light well and it's just going to give you a really nice beautiful glowy look. I have a sample of this this is the glam glow glow starter and this is it so I'm just going to apply that where I particularly want to be glowy um, and that would be right here on my forehead right here on my cheeks my nose those are the places where I really want light to reflect and just have a glowy not greasy or oily look and with this moisturizer you can really uh, use it without makeup you could just use it as your regular skincare because it is listed as a moisturizer all right so now I'm gonna go in with my arches and alo for my brows I'm just gonna lightly fill them in this is what the pen actually looks like and they actually sell this in Target I think it retails for like uh, $14 or so but it's just a little felt tip pen. So if you're one that likes to use felt tip pens as opposed to pencils or pomade or things like that, you could definitely check this out. All right, so I have my brows all filled in and I'm just gonna quickly apply my base uh, just to kind of prep for my eyeshadow. And I'm, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to do a natural, uh, uncomplicated eye look. I always say one thing and end up doing another. And it's always so cute. I always have somebody in the comments that says, oh, you said you were going to do a simple or easy uh, but you ended up doing something else so anyway <laughs> I'm gonna try to keep it simple so I'm gonna go ahead and carve out my brows and I'm just using the Sephora foundation and I really like using it because it just acts as a really good base to me you can set it or not and I feel like it's one product that plays really well with other eyeshadows now I don't even know if they still sell it but I'm gonna use it up and for my eyes I'm gonna use the eyeshadow palette where Anastasia collabed with Jackie Ina I know everybody's familiar with this little baby but seeming as though this palette does not have a shade that's light enough for my brow bone highlight I'm just gonna use a translucent powder and that powder would be my covergirl translucent powder so I'm just gonna add that right up here 
and I'm gonna use a brush to kind of just get off the excess. All right, so to put in my crease, I'm gonna use ginger, and that would be this shade right here. Okay, so the next shade that I'm gonna use is, and that would be this shade right here. Now for this particular shade, I am going to put this shade directly in my crease and I'm just gonna pack it on first and then I'm gonna blend it out. And when I get ready to blend it, I'm gonna blend it out with a softer brush. This brush that I'm using now is a bit um, dense, more compact. And then to blend it in, I'm gonna go back in with the ginger, or to blend it out, rather. And I forgot to say, whenever you're going back in to blend out the um, your crease shade, make sure you get the softest brush that you have and apply very, very, very light pressure. This particular uh, brush that I have now is by Delium Tools and it is synthetic and they have really good brushes in my opinion. And then on my middle lid, like right, right there in the middle, I'm gonna use this shade right here. And right now I'm just using a dry shader brush. All right, for my inner eye, like right up in here, I'm going to use this shade right here, which is really pretty. And I'm gonna use my finger And then to make things just a little bit more interesting, I think I'm gonna use this purple right here, right here on my lower lash line. And I don't know if I'm about to mess it up. You all at home might be screaming, no, 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 but let's see. Let's just see. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and wet my brush and use the other purple, the matte shade right here. I'm trying to see if I can get it to show up a little bit more or to show up a little bit brighter. And whenever you're using a wet shadow, excuse me, a matte shadow wet, if the shadow is good, it will not ruin it. I use um, matte and metallic shades wet sometimes. It just kind of depends on what I'm trying to achieve. And most times if I use a, a, a matte shadow wet, it's typically on my lower lash line. And that is showing up perfectly. I hope that you all can see that. And for my liner, I'm gonna use my Too Faced liner in Killer Queen. Here it is, swatched. And I think I just wanna put that on my waterline. And for my eyeliner, I'm gonna use this Makeup Revolution eyeliner that I just picked up and I like it. And now that I have that applied, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little mascara on and I'm gonna go ahead and add my lashes and I'll be right back. All right, so now we're on to the fun part and that would be um, complexion. So I'm gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is it. And the shade that I have it in is 440C. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply this. And by the way, if you want to see a complete review on this foundation, I will link it up above. Actually, I have a whole playlist of different foundations that I have tried over the years. Um, I've kind of slowed down 
with those type of um, videos uh, not because I don't want to it's just that I have accumulated so many foundations and I'm just really trying to use a lot of that makeup up All right, and so for bronzer I'm just gonna use my L cream palette and I'm gonna use this darkest shade here And to blend that out, I'm going to go back in with my the brush that I used for my foundation and go over the edges. Okay, so I have all of that applied. And for my concealer, I'm just going to use this item concealer. I will have the shade and everything listed below. This is it. And this is its swatch. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply this. All right, and now I'm just going to blend all of that out with my sponge. And I forgot to put a little bit on my forehead. I'm just gonna put a little, just like this. And I really like this concealer. I feel as though it plays really good with other products you know some products don't like to play well with others <laughs> they may lift they may just whatever sometimes you can get products that just do crazy crazy things all right so now that i have all of that applied i'm going to use my by terry uh, powder this particular powder powder has hyaluronic acid in it and I have it in two shades 300 and 400 I'm gonna use the lighter shade which is of course 300 and I'm going to just set my under eye I feel as though if you're going for a glowy look or if you have super dry skin try to go for a powder that has uh, of course hyaluronic acid in it or some kind of uh, good skincare in it now I'm going to go back in and add a little bit more of this purple on my lower lash line. And I'm making sure to tap off my brush because I don't want the makeup under my eye to be ruined. Okay, and then on my, um, kind of like in my corner of the eye, I'm going to use this shade right here. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and add some more mascara on, but this time I'm gonna add it on my lower lash line. And I'm gonna go back in up here and just make sure I have everything seamlessly blended. And I'm not going to uh, apply powder all over. I'm also not going to put any uh, blush on. I'm just going to add powder where I absolutely need it. So I'm going to add uh, some bronzer right along here. Y'all remember these right here? And this is the shade that I'm going to use. So like I said, I'm only going to apply powder in certain areas. If ever you're going for a glowy look, you need to make sure you do that. Um, don't apply powder everywhere. To me, I think that's kind of like the key when you're when you're doing your makeup and you're trying to achieve that glowy look. You really need to um, not put powder everywhere. So I have a some face powders. I have the Jaclyn Hill face powder and I have the Laura Mercier face powder. I think I'm going to use the Laura Mercier. Um, I absolutely love it. This one is the Comic Rose. Here it is. So, you know, a lot of people um, really do see this as like a glorified highlighter. Um, yeah, I guess I could see that. But I really do like it when go going for a super uh, glowy type of look. 
and of course I always tend to overdo it to add a little bit more powder I'm gonna go in with the Jack Lauren Hill highlighter this is it and I'm gonna add a little bit on my nose here and right here And for lipstick, I'm going to use this Morphe lip liner. And this is in Toast. This is it. This is it swatched. All right, and for my lipstick, I'm gonna use this little Fenty, Fenty lip gloss uh, lipstick. I don't even know the proper name. <laughs> I have it in the, <laughs> I don't even know the correct name. I have it in the description box. I'm gonna add a lighter lipstick or lip gloss, and this is by um, Makeup Revolution. I have to put the color in the description box. Okay, got all of that applied. And I wanna go back and just kinda clean up where I've contoured with, and you all know how I like to do that. I just either go in with my foundation or with a concealer, and I think this time I'm gonna mix these two shades together to just kinda clean that up. And you don't have to do it with uh, your concealer or your foundation. You can always do that with uh, the powder, whatever powder you're going to use to set it with. Now I'm going to go ahead and set all of my makeup and I'm just going to use this Morphe Luminous Setting Spray. So that's it, this is the final look. <laughs> let me know what you think about this glowy look down in the comments. Also, let me know what products that you like to use when completing your glowy looks. Cause after all guys, summer is right around the corner and we need to be looking as glowy and as beautiful as possible. Thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video, smooches.